A little league champ from New Jersey grew up to be a bona fide big league all star. All right, Ross Salzberg shows us how Todd Frazier staying true to his Garden State roots in tonight's homegrown. Todd Frazier is a Jersey guy. Born in Point Pleasant, raised in Tom's River. And we are set to go, and again, it will be... Where he first gained Frazier. national prominence at the age of 12, leading Tom's River East to be the 1998 Little League World Series champ. Todd, every kid dreams about just going to the Little League World Series. You not only go, but you hit a leadoff home run and you're the winning pitcher, get the final out. What was that like? We felt like we were major leaguers. There was a lot of lucky breaks along the way. Oh, we ended up winning the whole darn thing, and it was, uh, you think about it now, it's like how many kids can say that and, you know, have a future in the game. After the win, he and his teammates were honored at Yankee Stadium, where Frazier got to share the spotlight with a Yankees legend. Oh, he's the man. He's the man. There's nothing really I can say more about the guy. He etched his life in baseball and uh, helped us along the way. I, I got a picture with him when I was 12, and then his last All-Star game I was in. It was just, it was just unbelievable. Unbelievable is how you can describe Frazier's meteoric rise in the game of baseball. After a three-year college career at Rutgers, the Reds selected him in the first round of the 2007 Amateur Draft. After five seasons in the big leagues, he's become a bona fide star. But it was during the 2015 Midsummer Classic in Cincinnati that Jersey once again took center stage. Todd Frazier! You win the home run derby, and your brother Charlie is the pitcher throwing to you. Couldn't get any better than that. Uh, I had my other brother Jeff right behind me cheering me on. So, God, words can't even put it in what, what just happened. I had all my family there and, you know, at your home park. It was pretty cool. You're now considered one of the premier power hitting third basemen in the game. That's pretty heady stuff for a kid <laughs> from Jersey. And you, you, you hear it, it gives you goosebumps a little bit. Does it? Uh, it does. It really does. It's uh, very, it, it's humbling, it's, it's an honor, and uh, you can't take this game for granted ever. I'm a guy that works my tail off, you know, not only just because I'm from New Jersey, but I take all that stuff serious. I want to be a guy that's known like that every year. Todd, how important to you is your Jersey upbringing? It's affected me greatly. Um, I always talk about where I'm from. You know, it's an honor to be from here, I, I think myself. I love it here in this state. You know, everybody's like, oh man, we fly into Newark and we see all the stacks, the smoke stacks and electrical pipes and stuff. I go, you got to get outside of that, guys. <laughs> you know, there's more to it than just the pizza and the pork roll and all that stuff. You know, get down to the boardwalk, get down to the shore. Coming from New Jersey, you know, you don't play baseball all year round. You got to play different sports, and I think that's helped out too as well. You know, put your body in different uh, motions and. Uh, the guys here are, are tougher, man. I, I think the Northeast, you know, especially, we, we got some strong-nosed people that love to play the game to bring energy and emotion, and that's what I try and do every day. And it was back in 2012, after living through Superstorm Sandy, that his Jersey pride came through as Frazier came to the aid of Shore residents in need. I remember the one that hit that, that one day and then the next day. I mean, you couldn't even move your car. That's how much debris was everywhere. You know, you see people crying in the streets, and it was tough for everybody, and I thought for myself, you know, as being a Major League Baseball player and a guy, you know, some people look up to, and uh, I need to do something. And three main things, you know, you need food, you need clothing, and you need somewhere to live. And, you know, I went to our Little League field at Tom Jabber East Little League and helped out with food drive and giving clothes. I went to my church, you know, donated money here and there. I know the Cincinnati Reds helped out a lot with that, and I'm glad I could help in whatever I did. During the offseason, Todd continues to stay connected to his Garden State roots. Three years ago, he and his brothers established Frazier Baseball, clinics and camps aimed at teaching kids the fundamentals of the game. It goes to show you really how much work these guys want to put in to be good baseball players. Yes, I'll take that. If I can help along the way, give them one little tidbit here or the right way to swing or throw a ball, uh, I'm happy. Despite coming off of his best season in the majors, in which he blasted 35 homers, Frazier was traded back in December to the Chicago White Sox. For me, I, I see it as an opportunity. 
I see it as another chapter in my life. At the end of the day, you want to be known as a baseball player, and you want to be known as a guy that just worked his tail off and brought everything he could to the game, and that's what I try and do. You know, it's always nice, very nice to see a local kid make good, but being in this business, being able to watch a little league star then grow up to become a big league star, really, folks, that is something very special. We'll have more homegrown specials coming up for you, so make sure you stay tuned. And on top of that, he's a good kid. He grew up from a, a nice kid to a nice young man. It's really he nice. just guy. seems like a total yeah, class actor, yeah. a good guy. And, and very, very grounded. Yeah. yeah good stuff. He says working his tail off, you know, he's got to be a good kid. All right, thank <laughs> Great you, Great story, Russ. Thank you. All right, how you doing, everyone? Well, while we're up here dealing with the cold, miserable weather, Major League pitchers and catchers will be down in Florida and out in Arizona this week for the start of spring training under the sun, but the pros aren't the only ones getting ready for a new baseball season. Thousands of kids dream of playing Major League Baseball, but imagine if you had the chance to be instructed by a bona fide Major League star. Well, in New Jersey, you can. Big guy, let's work that, turn that backside just a little more. Yes, I'll take that. If I can help along the way, give him one little tidbit here or the right way to swing or throw a ball, uh, I'm happy. Nice and easy. Boom. All right, we're gonna split you up into three groups. I'm gonna watch you, let's get after it today. Frazier Baseball, which features camps, clinics, and showcases, was formed three years ago by brothers Charlie and Jeff Frazier, who both played professional ball, while their youngest brother, Todd, is currently Major League Baseball's reigning home run derby champion. He's learning stuff every year. He does four or five different things from defensive stuff to offensive stuff. And every year he can bring that back and show some of these kids those kind of drills or the new drills. And hopefully these guys bring it back and practice with their dads or practice on their own. And that's how they'll get better. And it's nice to know that a big leaguer has come from a big leaguer who starts every day at third base. We try and run a camp once a month in the offseason. We get a, an average around 130, 150 guys, you know, kids that want to work their tail off in the winter here. You know, mainly in New Jersey and some outside in other states. And it goes to show you really how much work these guys want to put in to be good baseball players. It was cool and I really going to go forward with it. I learned a lot of things that it's uh, about the mental part of the game and you have to stay focused and eat. Be, to be able to have success. The lessons are not just about on the field skills. First off, they gotta be good in studies. I said, if they're not academically right, they're not gonna be even playing baseball. And I think that bodes well with everybody. Todd's connection to baseball in his hometown of Tom's River were forever entwined when he led his 1998 Little League squad to a World Series championship. For the Frasers, baseball is a family affair. Their father, Charlie Sr., along with Mom Joan, were voted Little League Parents of the Year in 2015. You gotta teach your kids not this far out or not this close, but you gotta give them room, right? You gotta give them room to, to have their good days, have their bad days. To have a, a professional and professionals uh, give them instruction, they're gonna listen to them so much more than they'll ever listen to us. This big leaguer has a simple rule for kids. For them to have fun, they gotta understand that it is just a game. And that's the biggest thing. Baseball's just a game. I said, bud, what'd you do yesterday? Oh, I was two for four, but over three today. Don't worry about it, the sun will come up tomorrow. <laughs> Getting hands-on lessons from a pro, that's special. But getting hands-on lessons from a pro who's a homegrown star from your own community, that is extra special. On the ice, by the way, today, Islanders clip the Red Wings in a President's Day matinee 4-1 in Barclays Center. That's it for sports. Very cool. All right, thank you, okay. Russ.